Look at that. Holy sh... One in Amazon pallet return family. Um, so, yeah. But I've just started to go through some of these pallets, sorting out a lot of them. There's loads of these boxes, these really useful boxes, the plastic boxes you can buy from pretty much anywhere now. But I knew that there was loads of these, so I've been creating a bit of a pallet for those and just started going through these and, and covered a, a bit of a stash in here. I mean, I, I'm not entirely sure, but I literally have just opened this, this up. It's in the box. It's brand new stock. I mean, these aren't returns. Um, brand new box of, um, I think, eight. I don't know. 12. 12 pieces. So this is literally not returns. This is, I don't know, excess stock or something. And um, they're dump trucks. <laughs> Look at this. So there's 12 dump trucks. All brand new, all in the box. Never been opened. Um, I'm assuming it's Amazon excess stock. Uh, so this is looking wicked. And the, the even the tipper, the even even tips up. So these are totally unopened. But I'm thanking you from the manufacturers. And I'm in the warehouse, currently mucking around with my crypto miner. We're also getting around to sorting out some of these pallets. Now I've got a, a bit of a Q and A session. Um, well, you can ask any questions you want in the comments, and I'll do my best to uh, you know get back to them. But I've had a, quite a few questions from a young chap called Funky Funko Collector, and I was replying to him, but there seems to be sort of, I think there's probably answers to the questions that many people would have the same questions. So I thought, you know, actually, I'll give you a video reply as there's quite a few questions to cover. One of the questions was, he's 17 years old, he wants to start buying and selling, but he's a bit worried about, you know, what sort of, uh, you know, red tape that he needs. Does he need to register his company, uh, you know, accountancy, he doesn't want to do anything illegal, so he's worried about it. You know, what is the minimum age? Now, I say the minimum age is there isn't one. Um, there really isn't one to start buying and selling. There's never been a better time than now to sell. Um, and in all honesty, with the internet and everything that's coming through, with Marketplace, uh, eBay, all of the other things, you know, just smash into it, get into it. Never, never worry too much about all of the, all that side of things, because that side of things will come. Mark my words. Um, yeah, so you don't need a license. Yeah, sure enough, if you need to sign up to certain things, or even Facebook, there's an age limit. But you know, there's way of getting around that. You've got some supportive parents or something. Um, you know, get them to log in for you. Do it off their account. Do whatever you need. But there is never too. You know, the sooner you get stuck into it, the sooner you'll find your path in life and what works and what doesn't and make money it's that simple you know that god knows how many things i've been um you know stuck into even when i was in formula one with red bull i built a side hustle that's before side hustles hustles were huffles huffle, blah, blah, blah. Uh, like and like this video so that i can actually get my words out because i'll end up going come on press it side hustle uh, before side hustles were a thing, um, I was building up a side hustle that took me out of Formula One. Um, and you think, why did you leave Formula One? I'd done it for, well, I'd done F1 for six years or so. I've been racing for 12 or 13, so it was time for a bit of a change. Um, but yeah, so the sooner you get into it, the sooner you will complete that trial and error phase to find out what really works for you, what you enjoy, what you don't enjoy, what brings you money, what brings, uh, you know, brings you hell. Um, and a great ethos to have is, um, you know, minimum effort, maximum return. If you have that in your mind, then you could absolutely bust your backside for pence. And yet you'll find something that really works and brings in those pounds um, and dollars uh, for, for a lot less um, effort. I'm not just talking about effort to actually get the stuff and sell it. I'm talking about effort as in looking after, I'm all about looking after customers, but there are certain, certain industries that, you know, are higher maintenance than others. So yeah, there is no minimum age, just get stuck in. Um, don't worry about red tape, don't worry about doing anything illegal. You'll know if you're doing something illegal, it will just won't feel right. Um, you know, uh, and as far as, you know, you ask if you need to register a company and stuff, don't bother with any of that. Don't bother with accountants, don't bother with registering companies, don't do any of that officially until you find something that works and you find yourself sat on a bit of a pile of money. Then is the time to think, right, what's the next stage that I need to do? But don't go jumping into those things because those things are time consuming. Those things are expensive and those things aren't needed. Um, you know, registering is even registering as a sole trader, just don't bother. Yes, you do need to be a minimum age for all that sort of thing. So, you know, what? there's people flipping, um, you know, 
stickers and sweets in the playground when they're eight, nine years old. That's the sort of spirit. But it's never too late to try and it's never too early to start. So get stuck in. Um, you know, a famous story, uh, well, certainly in, in the team that I was in, is that I used to repair iPods in my hotel room while at the track because I did mine when the, in, you know, literally dial up internet or whatever it was, um, before you could buy batteries anywhere. It was just one place online on, um, in America. It took three, week, three, four weeks for it to arrive. I picked it up, I took it. There was no YouTube. In fact, there's probably no YouTube. There's certainly no guides, and I don't even think there's any YouTube. Um, excuse me, we're talking 2005. And, uh, you know, I bought the tools from an American company. My iPod gave up because I was using it all the time for traveling. Um, from you know around the world with the racing and I fixed my I changed the battery on my iPod fourth gen it was in my hotel room and then all of a sudden because you know everybody in the team a lot of people in the team had, had iPods and they needed a new battery because again they relied on it for all the traveling we did and um, you know I started ordering, ordering batteries and replacing theirs and then before you knew it I was the go-to person for iPod repairs and new batteries in the pit lane. I had people coming to me from McLaren, BAR Honda back in the day, Ferrari, um, you name it. And uh, they were coming and asking, and I, and I literally was ordering batteries, taking it to the circuit wherever we were, Malaysia, Australia, Bahrain, um, Turkey, France, UK, um, Brazil, Japan. Japan, America, Canada, all these places, you know, I was ordering batteries, taking them there and then getting these guys iPods, repairing them overnight while we were there, giving it back to them at the race weekend and off we went. Just developed into something a little bit bigger. Um, yeah, so it's always good to have a side hustle and don't worry about the red tape until you're there, until you've made money because the thing is you'll probably create businesses and drop businesses and create ideas and drop business ideas that when they, when they haven't worked. So if you spend all that time and money on all the red tape stuff, um, doing your things officially, uh, then you're just taking away the time that you're using to develop what you fancy, you know, what works for you. There's time to do that later on, and it is costly, and it does. So just, you know, when you're sat in a pile of money and go, oh, I should probably pay some taxes for this or whatever, then you'll know. Until then, just don't bother about it. There won't be anybody tracking you down to get your hundred pounds worth of taxes for the year. HMRC have got more than enough to worry about. Um, I'm not saying do anything dodgy or illegal. You just need to waylay it until you've got something substantial to actually claim for um, and, and pay back, pay the dues. So I hope that answers that question. Um, but just essentially don't worry about it. All right. That's one thing that will stop you from pushing ahead. Um, have these pallets to start going through these PC and that was fantastic. I sold two pallets of the remainder of stuff from my last video that was in that corner to a chap who picked them up last Saturday. Really nice guy from, from up north in Doncaster. And, um, and he'd seen these pallets and they were pretty much untouched at the point. They still had the black cellophane wrapping. I said, oh, I'm going to be processing these and selling them. Told him what I told you guys. Um, I think he's a follower on here anyway. And that's how he came about this stuff. Well, it must have been because that's the only place I really push it out. No, no, he bought he bought a pallet of scrap off me last December. Um, so yeah, he looked at it and uh, yeah, sure enough, to be perfectly honest, he took this stuff. They they drove down on Saturday, loaded them up, off they went. Sunday, he was texting me saying, "How much do you want for those those PC wireless um, pallets, um, untouched?" And I was like, "Oh, this, I'm actually quite nervous about this because." You could be getting two pallets of absolute gold. It could be the highest value stuff in all of these pallets. And thus, it's a bad deal for me. Or they could get two lemons and that's a bad deal for them. So actually, I was nervous for both of us. Um, but in the end, you know what? The, uh, we organised, we, we, we agreed on a price. I'm like, he wants them untouched. I'm like, that's fine, no problem. I just need to get shot of these. So uh, yeah, courier picked them up the following day, wheeled them out, off they went. Do I know what's in them? No. Do they know what's in them? Well, they probably do by now. Um, but yeah, there we go. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure they'll make money um, off the price that we offered. So I'm like, wow, this stuff is its like Christmas. I forgot how good it was. I've been so wrapped up in, in my other world that, uh, that I forgot to, you know, forgot what the buzz you get from this stuff. I mean, again, we're going back to the turns here. That looks like it's going to be a custom return for something. Amazon. Sellings International. FBA. Well, this is another. So if you don't know, um, 
this is from this is an FPA box. So when companies want to sell, when anybody wants to sell stuff on Amazon, if you've got a lot of it, you create boxes and it's called FBA, fulfillment, which is for, for, fulfillment by Amazon. And you build your boxes worth of all your stock. You do all your online jiggery stuff. They give you the labels and you send it to Amazon. They unload it and put it on their shelves. And when somebody buys one of your products, Amazon ship it. It's fulfilled by Amazon and not you. Um, this is actually shipped from Walls and Ceilings International Limited in Warwickshire, um, shipped to Decla Declarant, which is the company name, Amazon Fulfillment Center, Prologist in Warwickshire. So that hasn't gone very far at all, but unless this is just a, I mean, unless this is just a box that someone has used for their return, it actually looks, Use the camera angles and the the camera angles, it's pretty difficult to do. Not quite mastered the art of this. Okay, um, well, it's a brand new stirrer. Yeah, that's not a return. So maybe that's, maybe, maybe this is a pallet of, uh, maybe this is a pallet of excess stock maybe it wasn't sold on amazon i know that amazon have they'll keep it there for a certain time mega mixer this is new stuff um they'll keep it there for a certain time oh my giddy on and then they'll just get shot of it so it's not on the shelves you hear that holy sh holy oh my god it's the actual mixer for that bit so it's the whole thing. It's the it's the 110 volt, which is the yellow plug, industrial um, spec um, mixer. How good is that? That's insane. I just stumbled across Amazon return pallet gold. This is not returns. This is excess stock. Mind blown. I was having a crap day up until this point, so uh, maybe my fortunes have just changed. Oh, please, actually, again, if you haven't liked this video, please give it a like. Because, um, I haven't posted for a while, then I posted a couple of videos recently, and my, my likes have gone up from about a, a like a day to, in the last two days, I've been averaging about 10 likes. Um, and we just hit 50, uh, 500 subs last week. And now it's at 520 odd. So it's amazing how when you start posting, obviously, people, you know, they just seem to push their stuff out more. So yeah, it's gathering a bit of pace. We need to get back on the back on the um, back on the game. Well there you go guys. That's some brand new stuff. I mean, I'm genuinely quite shocked at that. I mean, Rather pleased because I think that's quite a, an expensive item in there. Let's see what else we've got in the palette. Oh, could be back to the turn, but I said that's the last one. One. Three up. There's a whole, like a. Again, it's brand new. It's, uh, it's like a, a, a little cabinet, a wooden cabinet. Yeah. This one intrigues me. It says one woe fit. And it's amazingly heavy. Two lift required. Or just one of me. Well really looking at this 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 palette here. It really does look like it's all new stuff. So I'm super intrigued to what's uh, in here. And you're going to have to wait till the next video to find out what that is and what the rest of the stuff in there. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Blah, 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 blah. Drop any comments. I hope that answered your question. Or at least one of your questions. Or two of your questions. Um, Funko. Funky Funko Collector. Um, I love getting your questions, guys. I love answering them as well when I can. And um, I've got a couple more questions to answer for that chap. So I'll do that in the next video whilst uncovering some more gold.
Take it easy.